To the Mike Ankro Variety Show. I am the aforementioned Mike Ankro, and with my comedic partner, uh, cinematographer and director Phil Ossenmacher of Ossenmacher Productions, it's probably right down here, uh, we want to bring you a weekly, monthly, we'll see how it goes, variety show, including comedy, music, and uh, skits and interviews. I wanted to let you know a little bit about me and my beliefs and thoughts. So I made a little list. I jotted down a little list. And um, this is just some of the things I believe. I believe in the Ten Commandments and live by them like five or six of them regularly. The more people I meet, the more I like my dog. Alcohol never solves any problems. But then again, neither does a glass of milk. In about 50 years, there's going to be thousands and thousands of old ladies with really saggy, wrinkled tattoos and very low-hanging, inappropriate piercings. Kids in the back seat can cause accidents, and accidents in the back seat can cause kids. I believe infants enjoy infancy as much as adults enjoy adultery. Yeah, constipated people don't give a shit. Men shouldn't be sexist. Broads hate that. I believe women should be put on a pedestal just high enough to see up their skirts. There are two theories to arguing with women. Neither one of them work. Believe if you don't believe in oral sex, you should just keep your mouth shut. And finally, I believe I have the body of a god. That god, Buddha. Hey, how y'all? This is me, Dickhead. And I got a message straight to you, Mr. President. Why don't you take on all of them? All the other candidates, just take them on. Come on. Let's do some debate. Hell, debate Nancy Pelosi if she's not in surgery getting her face done. You can take all of them on. Bernie Sanders, he'll go. Uh, what do you want me to do? I'll come over there. You want me to come over there? You can put... Whoops. This segment brought to you by Polygrip. You can take them all on. Why don't you do it? Why don't you stop hiding? This is like... I want it to be like a wrestling match. Why don't you wrestle all of them? I like wrestling. Re wrestle all of them. Wrestle Nancy. Wrestle all of them. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Right here on the Mike Angel Variety Show. So let's do it. Sunday, Sunday. Hi everybody, Tressa Graves here. Make sure you go to my website at www.tressagraves.com to find out a little bit more about the book trailer you're fixing to watch after this message. The Stalking Monster, the prequel to an eight-part series. You can also go over there and check out my other work as well. 
I also have some really cool t-shirts up. www.tressagraves.com When Michelle regained consciousness, she found herself outside of the basement. She held her dirty hands over her face to shield the sunlight from hurting her eyes. She went to lick her dry, cracked lips, but found her mouth was just as dry. She rolled over to use her hands for leverage to stand up, but her hip popped hard and dropped her back down face first. She screamed as a sharp pain ran through her leg like a bolt of lightning. Michelle laid helpless and crying as she stared up at the sky, which just a short time ago believed she would never see again. How am I still alive? She whispered. Don't forget to go visit the website and also check out the t-shirts and all the other cool stuff I got for sale over there. www.tressagraves.com Hi, boys and ghouls. It's me, Count Flatulence. You can call me Flatch for short. Anyways, I'm a, uh, I, I work for Consumer and Energy. I'm a gas man. And part of the things we do as a gas man, we have to be in manhole a lot looking for gas leaks. And so I'm sitting on my rear a lot down in those manholes and um, I came across a new product. It really helped me and I hope it will help you. It's called Buddy. Hello, friends. Are you run down, tired, listless? Do you poop at parties? Are you unpopular? Well, the answer to all your problems in this one little tube, Bud Aid. With Bud Aid, it gets rid of vitamins, meat, minerals, and vegetables too. Yes, with Bud Aid, you can squeeze your way to health. All you do is apply a squeeze after every meal. It's not greasy, too. It's just like taffy. So now, why don't you join the thousands of happy, poopy people and get a great big tube of Bud Aid today? That's Bud Aid. B U T T A. Bye, boys and ghouls. Enjoy. Now it's time for something completely different. Ah, uh, I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Well, I'll tell you, in all the excitement, I kind of lost track myself. But being that this is a 44 Magnum, you got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you? And we're back at the uh, Motor City Comic Con 2013 with Michigan's own Karen McDougall. How are you? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Too. You were 1998 Playmate of the Year, correct? That's correct, yes. Very cool. Now, where are you from in Michigan? I'm from Sawyer, Michigan. It's a small town. You blink, you miss it. Oh, okay. Yeah, southwestern Michigan. But I lived in Detroit for eight years. Oh, very and cool. And then I transferred over to L.A. And that's where you live now, L.A.? Right between L.A. and Arizona now. Oh, very cool. What's up? Uh, what do you got going now? What, what projects do you have? I have projects in the mix, but I never talk about them until they're out because you never know how they slice and dice and, you know. Very smart. Like that. Very smart. Do you have a website? I do. I have KarenMcDougall.com. Okay. And then I also have, um, I guess, a store site. It's thecollection.karenmcdougall.com. Okay. And people can... Uh, they can purchase anything and everything. Like, I only have a couple things here, but on the store... I have tons of stuff. And you'll sign it? And, oh, yeah. And, oh, so I have, very nice. everything. Very nice. Store. Very cool. Now, do you, do you also sign uh, Playboy magazine? Can you uh, you do that? Oh, you have all that on the store. I very didn't cool. bring any of that here. Yeah. Travel. You bet. You bet. So you're uh, here all weekend with the Comic-Con? I am. I'm actually leaving early tomorrow, but I've been here all weekend. Okay. Good to be home. Back in Michigan. Yeah, welcome home. <laughs> Whoa. <Thank you. laughs> Well, thanks for coming on with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.